Foible area, the Tower of Terror area, and we're headed into still like the 1900s uh, New York City area, the United States Steamship Co. But it's like the steamship area. Here, there's the steamship. Woohoo! I think we can go into this way <laughs> as a ride, because maybe short. But we all want to check the time because the park will close at 8 today, so we might want to pick um, other areas to go to. This, I remember being here, it's like a restaurant area. You can get pizza in here. Yes, let's just take a quick look. So we're still inside the uh, American waterfront area and what we're in right now is what they call like a counter style dining area where you order from a counter and you find your own seating. And um, But there's another style that they have which is called table dining where you actually are served by a server. I love how they decorate the place that makes you feel like you're really in that time period. A cargo, a port. Look at the details. Except for the people. <laughs> yeah. Look how like, it really makes you feel like you're in that period. Like they put dents in the table. There's quite a line for the steamship. So we'll skip it. The last time I was here, it was also a long line as well, like 45 minutes of a wait. So let's see what it is today. Usually they put it up. 30 minutes of a wait. show happening. There's a little bear there. I think it's Duffy and friends. Okay, I don't know what he said, <laughs> so I didn't go. Ah! This is to go to the restaurant. Let's go up. Let's check out the restaurant. Oh, I need to charge my camera. <laughs>
So this is the Teddy Roosevelt Lounge, um, table style dining where you're served by a server and uh, based on the pictures it looks uh, really really nice. Really reminiscent of that period of time where like they have gentlemen's uh, lounge for like uh, smoking cigars and drinking whiskey. Yeah, so there's a line to get into the restaurant. So we'll skip. <laughs> oh, look. There's a smaller steamboat there. I think it's moving. Or turning. This propeller is all that remains from the SS Gargardua, the world's largest ocean liner, which was sunk by a row wave off Sandy Hook during the terrible winter of 1888. This one here. Okay, I guess we'll go this way and go to the next area. We were there. Been here. This is where they used to sell food, but they don't have any. The stalls are open. Some of them are open. So this area that we're headed into right now is meant for like sitting outside and like, enjoying the view. Um, there are stands open where you can get a beer cocktail or popcorn or um, sausages and just uh, enjoy yourself. So let's take a look. Limited time only. <laughs> dinosaur. It's supposed to have a real dinosaur in here. Look at that, they make, they even make, make it with dirt. <laughs> make it look real. Oh, <laughs> shumata.
I really think they put food coloring in the water because the water is just like deep green. By the way, I don't know if you've noticed, but um, there are no seagulls in the area, but you can hear them. another city area, a different day, like deco. Drink to quench a dinosaur's thirst. <laughs> uh, $700 for a beer cocktail. Okay. Instead of a steamboat, these are sailboats. They use sail. It's really, really cool. Wow. They make you feel real. I think that's it for the um, steamboat in New York City area. We're going to cross over, get on that bridge, and go into another area. Okay.